don't you want that mirror for yourself it's only seven thousand well if you don't have the money this is my version for less than a thousand bob guys welcome back to my channel i'm sis paulo and if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe to my channel share like and comment down below on what you would want me to try and without wasting time let's start on this diy so the first thing you need is a mirror i got it as uh, from house of leather at 400 bob your glue sticks i used wood glue here too the part panador something like that you need a pen a ruler scissors and um, aluminium foil and your cartons that's all you need guys nothing else so the first step you start by drawing mark 10 centimeters on the carton and draw a straight line as i'm doing here then using your scissors you cut off the sample that you're now going to use to draw out all the other cartons so this is the first step so to make it easy you just take one sample and one sample you use it to cut off the rest so follow what you're seeing in this video using the width of your ruler you're going to draw another sample or you can use whichever width you prefer depending on how big your mirror is so once you cut another sample you place it on the first samples that you cut and then you end up cutting smaller triangles as you can see and on those smaller triangles, i am marking the center so that at the center i can know where i'm going because the carton is um, one side is broader than the other side that's why you measure half and then you cut off the excess from the half so as you can see here just follow the video guys that's the shape we are trying to achieve then on these triangles you're just going to trace out now that small capat now you see that small thing is what actually we are now going to trace out through the whole process so the first cartons that we cut the second tiny cartons that we cut now we all make them into this shape this is what i'm doing oh those ones were rectangles guys not triangles <laughs> once you're done tracing out that shape you're just going to take your scissors and cut through so you've already drawn using a pencil so you're just going to follow where your pencil is and follow that line with the scissors and gather as many cartons as you need guys because i used a lot you have to cut like almost a hundred of them but really one carton is actually enough because i used one carton for the milk i think milk one the tiny one and it was enough to cut off more than a hundred pieces when you're doing this part by the way guys i recommend you use very big scissors because i was using these small ones and my fingers were hurting so your fingers are going to hurt and if you're young if you're a kid of course do this with your parents because sharp scissors can hurt you so you cut off as many pieces as possible this is what i'm doing it takes so much time when the scissors are not sharp like i believe i would have taken 30 minutes less if i was using better scissors but gotta do what you gotta do this covid period has turned out to be so long longer than i expected i thought within two three months it would be over but looks like we're gonna have a break for another six months so if you're at home you're in school you're not in school well when someone asks you next year what did you do how did you spend your 2020 are you going to regret or you're going to say you did some diys you decorated your house you know you did a job you learned a new skill this is why we try to do anything constructive and as you can see i have my pieces so i am putting two p i put um wood glue as i'm doing you apply wood glue on one side of the carton and then you attach it to another carton so you attach two pieces together so the two pieces you're attaching together you're going to make 20 of those so 20 pairs like 20 of each pair and then you're going to attach six more like you're going to place a uh, glue on top of the first one second one until they are six so that they can be very thick 20 of them so you're going to have a total of 40 
20 with two cartons only and 20 with six cartons each. And if your mirror is big, of course, you have to use more. And I chose to use wood glue because it's a bit more affordable. If you don't have a glue gun, you can always use wood glue because it's 250 shillings. And then it's very easy to clean. You don't need gloves. It's not like um, wood, um, what's it called? A glue gun where it can burn kids. So kids, this is kind of safe for them if they don't swallow, of course. And it's easy to wash off because even your nails, you don't have to worry. It's very easy to wash off. Can you blow my whistle, baby, whistle, baby, let me know. Can you guys whistle challenge? Before anything, you need to um, lay those cartons on the mirror just to see if you have enough. And then you're going to take your aluminum foil and fold it in rectangles. Then you're going to cut off those rectangles using a ruler. Don't be tempted to use scissors because scissors are going to mess it up. You need to use a ruler to achieve neatness or anything just flat, not sharp. You can use a knife but not scissors. And make sure that the length, uh, the length of the rectangle you're cutting is big enough to cover the length of the cartons. Otherwise, you're going to waste your aluminum foil or achieve something that's not neat. It needs to be long enough. Longer, actually, longer than the carton. Yes. Then you will lay it, um, the rectangles, fold them into half so that they form kind of like squares. And then you're going to apply wood glue at the back of the... Carton, and then you're going to just stick the aluminium foil to the carton using wood glue. That is basically it. Just apply, wrap the aluminium foil as I'm doing, just making sure it's neat enough and you are cutting off the excess in every fold because you don't want to fold excess because if you fold excess, you're going to have bumps. So after one fold, cut off with scissors like this. Yes, cut off and then you fold again, you cut off any excess, you're not folding any aluminium foil twice. This specific step here, you cannot use glue sticks if you have them. I'd rather you even use the office glue because the wood glue is going to cause bumps on this aluminium foil and we are trying to lay it as flat as possible. That's why you need something that even ungaya chapati is better than glue gun. So once you're done with the small cartons where you put two cartons on each to form a pair, it's now time to work on the six ones, the six cartons that we placed on top of each other. And the process is the same, just that here you need to use aluminum foil. It's, it's a bit bigger because the first step, of course, the carton is small, but this one, the carton is bigger, meaning you're folding more. So you need to cut bigger size than you cut the first step and the process is the same you just apply wood glue place it on the aluminium foil and start folding as i'm doing here as you cut off the excess it's that simple and in every process you have to apply glue because you don't want it to start being loose at the end so that simple if you feel like you need to pause go ahead honey And by the way, when I was starting this um, project, I did not intend to wrap the whole carton with aluminum foil. I just forgot and wrapped everything and it looked like candy and I liked how it looked. So I wrapped up everything. I was planning to only put aluminum foil on the top part and then the rest of the part would be cartons. Because you see the way they look pretty. You can even, if you want a brown theme, you have a brown theme, you can just leave them as they are. If you don't want to use aluminum foil, you can simply spray paint the cartons as they are and attach them to the uh, mirror. Just that I decided to take the long route because it's a DIY and I want to make the best out of it. If you've reached the ninth minute, guys, and you've not subscribed, mm, acho choyo, just funga macho and click that button, subscribe, and voila, it's done. It costs nothing, and look at how beautiful it is. So you place the big 
the big one, the, the big cartons, you place them in the clockwise, the way it is, as I usually do, the 12 and the 6, the 3 and the 9. So you first, you just put them without using any glue, just so that you see how you're going to fit them. You guys get the logic. So, what do I need to say? I mean, you just need to see what I'm doing. It's very easy. No need to say anything, but I love how it looks, guys. You can even leave at this process, at this step, because it already looks good. But I want to go all the way. So, you're keeping, you're just placing the big ones, the six ones. And then once you're done with that, you're only leaving space small enough to come and put the two one, the small cartons now. You see using the twos and the six in the cartons give it that definition where you see it's going high low high low ju chini ju chini that's why you need to put the six between the two between the six so there's no way you're going to put two big cartons next to each other there always has to be the two one between the six one it's that simple At this point guys they're usually tired but when you see what you're making like when you can see the end product like what you've been doing it just gives you psych to go on because what well, my back was hurting at this point my fingers but it looks so good imagine hmm? okay so now i am satisfied this is how it's going to look it's now time to go to the last step which is gluing it on to the mirror and you're not going to remove them you're just going to stick them as they are unainua unaika glue unaikelea ko kakandi unaika glue unaikelea kandi and you have to be generous with the glue otherwise it's going to come off because um this i think aluminium foil does not work so well with glue sticks because it wasn't sticking that well but i realized if you put a generous amount it sticks on quite well and i just put two dots two dots uh like hapa juna hapa chini and then you attach them that's simple and as you can see i'm putting the big ones kind of to the outer part of the mirror and then the small ones i'm putting towards the inside of the mirror because you have to bring out the difference of the it just brings out a bigger difference and that's what i wanted it to be like you can see the definition so the smaller ones have to be inner and the other ones have to be outer you can clearly see on my video it's very clear you can zoom in slow it down just do it right Well, sorry for how long it turned out, but at this point, there is no, I cannot edit it anymore because I'm not trying to destroy the quality of my video and I'm not trying to lose everything I've been doing in editing. So, you're just going to watch the process with me. Yes, just see how I'm placing them. <laughs> This mirror looks good even at this point. You can even hang it without adding the rest. You can leave it at that, but let's finish it. Being a fast trial and a very original DIY, like I have not seen this DIY anywhere else. Like I came up with it. I came up with how I'm going to cut the cartons. I came up with the whole process. I mean, I just feel good because it looks similar to what I wanted to achieve. And I'm just happy that as I'm completing it, I can see it already. And guess what? <laughs> Look at that. Yes, the final product is here, guys. It looks so good. And um, I had to spray paint a little bit because it was too shiny. And when it's too shiny, it looks kind of cheap. 
so it looks beautiful it's ready for hanging i can't wait to add this to my collection and i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video i love it